Good Monday afternoon. I'm Lee Mills. It's been 74 years since Wisconsin brought home a national championship. And right now, thousands of fans are cheering at a pep rally in anticipation of tonight's big game. That's where we find NBC 15's John Stofflett, who is live at the Indiana Convention Center. Hey, John, what's the atmosphere right now? Well, Lee, there's speakers on the stage right now. It got a little bit quieter, but just a few minutes ago, they were this band up here on the stage was playing Sweet Caroline. Everybody was singing along. When the doors opened up here, thousands of fans rushed in. Many went to get a front table. Others went to get beer. It is a Wisconsin party, after all, and they didn't want to wait in line. The atmosphere is electric. There, People are listening to the speakers now, but uh, I'll tell you, there were 5,000 people here on Saturday. They expanded this to fit 7,000 fans here. And on Saturday, Coach Alvarez said, will you guys be back on Monday if we're in the national championship game? Everybody roared yes. And they have followed his instructions. And here they are ready for tonight's big game. You know, the student athletes are going to be on the stage here uh, in just a little bit. But uh, student is part of the equation there that is extremely important. What they do in the classroom and the community. NBC 15's Amy Flukshoft has more on that. Right now, all the focus is on the two teams that are going to be battling it out on the court tonight for a national title. But also out here at the Final Four, several student athletes are being recognized for the work that they do off the court. A It's easy to see the long hours these guys put in on the court, but some are going above and beyond just school and practice. They're making an impressive commitment to give back to their communities. This is the third year for the Allstate NABC Good Works team, a distinguished panel made up of former coaches, former college basketball stars, and members of the media select student athletes from NCAA Division I, II, and III programs, as well as the NAIA. This year, Navy men's basketball senior guard Kevin Alter is just one of 10 selected from a record pool of 158 nominations. Me and my brother every year for the past eight years have done a charity stickball tournament and uh, I don't know if you know stickball it's pretty much like an inner city wiffle ball game and so me and my brother raised uh, charity and uh, money all proceeds go to Homes for Our Troops which is uh, disabled veterans uh, that come back from Iraq and Afghanistan. In addition to that, he's also led several skills camps for kids, helping to stress the importance of hard work in academics. After graduation, Alter will be serving our country as a commissioned officer in the United States Marine Corps. It's so easy to get caught up into the hype of March Madness, especially on a game day. I know I'm guilty of it, but this really helps to put things into perspective and show us that these student athletes are doing even bigger things off the court. John? All right, Amy, thank you very much. You know, they're showing these highlight reels here. Hang on a second, I want to watch. This is too good. They're showing Badger highlight reels, and the crowd's just going crazy here. They are ready for what's to come tonight. It really feels like this is Wisconsin's year. People are fired up. Oh, the jump around, are you kidding me? Did we time this perfectly or what? You got to stay with us. You guys ready? Here we go. Yeah, sometimes the timing just works out. Here, get in here, you're cuter than I am. All right, let's hear it. Okay, Lee, we're having too much fun here to work. We'll be back for NBC 15 News at 6. For now, live in Indianapolis, John Stoplett, NBC 15 News.